Well, if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, you'll know dinosaurs, humans, bacteria were all made of the same basic genetic material. But now researchers in California have done something different, creating what is essentially alien life here on Earth. You know what that means? We bring in science correspondent Bob McDonald. So, Bob, what did they do? Well, Peter, they did some really interesting thing by manipulating DNA and creating some two new letters. I have a graphic here that shows what DNA looks like. It's a ladder, and it's based on four chemicals. All life on Earth is ACTG, and what they did was create two new artificial letters, and they swapped them out in some DNA, made synthetic DNA, and they put it inside a living cell, and this cell accepted that DNA and was even able to reproduce. So this is the first time that they've done it inside a living organism. And the hopes is, is that in the future, they might be able to, to design bacteria to make useful products for us, like uh, proteins or specific pharmaceuticals. It's just a very, very specific engineering of these bacteria, but they are essentially alien life. Well, there's some excitement around this, but also some criticism. Well, there's always concerns whenever any kind of new life form comes around. We want to know, is it safe? You know, if we get infected with this thing, would our immune system see it? So they got to be very careful. At the moment, these things cannot get out of a laboratory, but they have to be following very strict protocols to make sure that they are safe before they do any kind of useful work. So there's always that concern. But I don't think it'll become the blob that crawls out of the lab and takes over the small town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this also does tell us something about the way we think about life in our universe. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the fact that this cell accepted alien DNA uh, says that the kind of life that we find as we look for life on other worlds out there in the universe doesn't necessarily have to have our chemistry. It could be entirely different. And I find that really interesting. That means that we're not just looking for ourselves out there. We could meet something entirely different, and it gives a whole new meaning to the term diversity. So who knows what we're going to find when we find our alien neighbors in space. All right, Bob. Thanks very much. Bob McDonald, he joins us from Victoria tonight.